Last time, Sage the detective dog sniffed for clues about why drug prices are so different and found that prices vary because there are so many different types of drugs, like medicines that treat rare diseases that are called orphan drugs. Pete, Sage found another big clue for us. Good dog. We're not just talking about typical medications sold at drugstores. There are other treatments that offer tremendous value for patients, but are some of the most expensive drugs. What are those, Professor? To find the next clue, you're going to need to use your microscope again, Pete. These are biologics. Biologics come from very complex biological processes. They're expensive to produce, but they have a high value, improving our cancer survival rates and treating autoimmune diseases. Sage just dug up another big clue, Pete. Orphan drugs and biologics are driving up costs. They're a large contributor to the drug affordability problem. Professor, are there competitors for biologics that can lower the prices for patients? Yes, and Sage just found them. They're called biosimilars. They're like generics, but they face many obstacles to get through the drug pricing maze. We'll talk more about those later. Professor, are there any other treatments driving up costs? Pete, Sage just took our time machine to the future to dig up a big clue about those. Gene therapies are treatments of the future that will revolutionize medicine. They either replace a missing gene or fix a defective gene and offer cures for devastating diseases. And it could be just a one-time treatment. Professor, are there any gene therapies available now? Zolgensma treats kids with spinal muscular atrophy. These kids rarely live to become adults, but now thanks to this gene therapy, this disease may soon be curable. Pete, your lesson for today is this. There are many considerations, including small molecule medicines, orphan drugs, biologics, and gene therapies. All have unique challenges to develop effective markets for competition and lower costs for patients. Join us next time when Professor Salvari and Pete pays too much, learn about co-pays, rebates, and other factors in how drugs are sold. 